50 seconds to set. Spacecraft separation. Twenty seconds. We've begun our recompensation maneuver. Coming up on spacecraft separation. Spacecraft separation. Confirmed by brake wires and video. Normal separation signature. And the vehicle has despun from the precompensation maneuver. Great. Bolden, I, I just wanted to take a moment to, to say how proud I am to be here with this team. Um, we're also privileged to have, we have a lot of dignitaries out here, but there are two people I want to mention in particular because um, this, this launches their first, of, their last official uh, acts with their respective organizations. And my right hand man right here is Secretary Ken Salazar, the Secretary of Interior, uh, who is here to see his very first launch. Uh, so what a what a way to, to ha ha help him celebrate. And the other person is USGS Director Marsha McNutt, who has been an absolutely incredible partner for us. Uh, she's getting ready to go back to do something, uh, but but a great day for her also. Um, but what I wanted to do, I wanted to emphasize what a great team we have demonstrated that we are. Um, you know, you all have been through a lot. Uh, all you need to do is look at what's happened over the last few months. Uh, this is last few weeks, actually. In 12 days, uh, you know, the ULA team has turned from launching a Tedris at Cape Canaveral uh, to coming out here and launching LDCM all the way on the other coast, and that is no small feat. Not to mention the fact that in between there was a spacecraft failure that had to be analyzed because the you know the primary propulsion system was from the family of the RD-180. And we had to make sure that that wasn't a problem and it wasn't going to impact this launch. Uh, and the team did an absolutely incredible job of clearing that so we could have this launch this morning. Uh, the other thing is the RL-10, the upper stage, uh, had some, some, some substandard performance on the GPS launch some time ago. They got together again and cleared that. And then the thing that uh, I wasn't here, but I'll tell you, uh, Amanda Miscavige, who, who heads up uh, the you know the LSP team down at down at the at the Cape told me this morning, way before dawn, uh, how proud she was to have seen one team come together starting Friday, uh, looking at how we were going to do this the safe and arm devices and everything else, much more technical than I want to talk about. But those incidences just point to the incredible talent uh, of this team, one team. And, uh, and that's what you all should really celebrate when you, when you get out of here. Go have a bottle of wine, not a glass, a bottle, uh, uh, or something, but, but I, I think you really deserve it. I, I just want to thank everybody for the, for the cooperation, collaboration, and coordination that brought this, brought this off. Now, everybody knows we're not, we're not done yet, uh, but you need to remember also the incredible record that uh, Landsat has, has established for the nation and the world, actually. It's, you know, the, the family has been flying for 40 years now. And uh, Landsat 5, that, that LDCM is going to replace, Landsat 8 is going to replace, flew for 29 years, uh, planned for three. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you what Mike Freilich told me, okay? So I'm, I didn't get any of this stuff on my own. But I, I've taken enough of your time. I, I just want to thank you again for the incredible work all of you did. So give yourselves a pat on the back, shake each other's hand, hug each other, cry a little bit, and then go celebrate. Thanks very much.